Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We're back in Kane to clean up one loose end. Uh, I'm going to warn you, this is going to have a little bit of spoilers because I'm going to talk about late game content towards the end. Uh, so if you haven't finished the game, go ahead and finish it and then come back here. Uh, if you have finished it though, and you're anything like me, then you probably went ahead and checked whether you got all the achievements in Steam. Uh, when I checked, it turned out that we were missing a couple, and in fact we were missing four secret achievements uh, called Secret Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Omega. Now, I'm not too big to admit that I had to look at a guide to find out exactly how to get these, except for Omega, because I, I have a suspicion I know. Uh, but it turns out that, yeah, we could have found them on the video, but it, only if I subjected you to clicking on every single object that I could even look at. Uh, and seeing whether or not Hadley had any sort of reaction. So, instead, I'm just going to put together all four of them in this video so we can sort of just enjoy and see some of the Easter eggs that the Brotherhood put in the game. Now, I am here at the location of Secret Alpha, and it's right here. If you hover the mouse over, you'll see this force field, and if you click on this force field, Hadley will run over, she'll lean down, and then you will be presented with this, a series of binary numbers. Now. At first, I thought this might be some sort of ASCII code, but ASCII code is actually longer. I thought maybe it was a hex code. Hex code is different. It's formatted differently. Uh, and maybe I thought, you know, this could be a straight replacement where, for example, this is, you know, 6, because it's 1s, 2s, 4s, 8s, and 16s, and 2 plus 4 is 6. You know, this is a 6 letter, etc., etc. But not only does doing that not get you anything uh, coherent, let's say, but you have these. Uh, numbers, which are 31, which blows past the alphabet, and more importantly, you have this symbol, 00100, which repeats every now and again. And so, I mean, there it is, one, two, three, right here, right? And then it keeps going. Uh, and so I thought, well, it could be a straight replacement, but it's different. So after a little uh, searching online for 5 bit text codes, I came across something called the Baudot Code, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, or uh, otherwise known as the International Telegraph Alphabet Number 1. Now, a couple years later, they came out with International Telegraph Alphabet Number 2, that became standard, and that was in fact the standard alphabet for non-letter uh, non representation of the alphabet until ASCII code came along. And you can imagine how this is going to be displayed if you're a teletype or a telegraph operator, right? no punch, no punch, whole hole, no punch, right? And it would just be like a series of five columns where you would have holes punched in and you would know. Also, if you look at, for example, this symbol or this symbol, they are shift keys. So, you know, it would be letters, 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 then you'd get this symbol which says, okay, now we're going to shift to a different set of markings. This is going to be punctuation. We're going to shift back to letters and continue. That's why you see these codes right before, like, periods or question marks, okay? Uh, now, if you solve this out, or if you translate this out under the Badeau code, or the ITA number two, you get the message, it was all my fault, forgive me, why? Okay, so that's what this one means. Now, there is this symbol down here. I thought for a long time it had something to do with this code, but it turns out that this is just about how to get to the next secret, okay? I'll show you right now, okay? We're at secret alpha. Secret beta is in the PDT printer room. If you can see, the arrow kind of points the way down here. Hadley's gonna run over there, and I'm going to show you just where to look. All right, hey guys, so we are in the PDT printer room or printer lab corridor. Now, remember we were looking around in this room when we were playing, and it had a, this crate which says a series of unremarkable numbers are etched into the sides of the crate. Well. Turns out that if you click on them, Hadley will walk over, she will kneel down, and you will be presented Hadley. with this. Okay? Now, first things first, look, it says Groom right here, so Groom Lake, right? This uh, diagram, for a while I thought it had something to do with the solution. It doesn't. This is all about finding the next secret, and I will show you where right after this. But this translation took a long time. Uh, I tried everything. Uh, this, as you can see, is a straight uh, replacement because, again, you have repeating symbols here and there. Now, 
I tried everything. I tried numbers. I tried swapping out, you know, like, the is it an A here? You know, is it a C here? And maybe changing the number here. But, of course, I is a higher numerical value than a 3, etc. And I couldn't figure it out for a long time. And then, for some reason, I got obsessed with, well, what else has a significance of 1? And that got me thinking, hmm, maybe... Really, what, I mean, really, it was just a, a blind gets in the dark. I thought, well, what if chemistry is the solution? Because we are talking about a science lab, etc. And that turned out to be right. Okay, so by replacing all of these numbers with the atomic numbers, or with the elements with the atomic number, right? So uh, hydrogen is one, etc., etc. And then taking the symbols and taking out the letters that are subtracted, you get a message. Okay, and the message is. Help, Ellen is dead, question mark, M. Now, of course, since this groom like right here, and if you guys played Stasis, you know that M probably stands for Marachek, and Ellen is John Marachek. He's the protagonist from Stasis, his wife. So, maybe he's asking whether Ellen is dead. Now, this sort of messes with the continuity of what I thought the game, and what I thought Stasis and Kane had, but who knows? Maybe this is just a, a fun little Easter egg that the Brotherhood tossed in there. If they do watch this, and I know once in a while they will check out these videos, I welcome them <laughs> to tell us whether or not this is something to do with continuity or just some fun for players. Okay, now I'm going to show you where Secret Gamma is, that's the third one, right now. Alright, hey guys, so here we are. This is the crew quarters. Now, if you remember the diagram, it actually had two squares, one nested in, its, in, in the other, that's what this means, the lower area plus the walkway gantry, and the circle was around here, and as you can see, there's an overgrown gardens that we can look at, uh, and if you click on it, Hadley will walk over, as usual, she will kneel down, and we're presented with this. Now, it's a little hard to see, so uh, I'm going to make this a little bit easier for you guys to see. There are a series of two strings of numbers, they're both seven digits long. 6485060121 Now, I was thinking about what this might mean and I had an idea that if you really cut these off, right, and it's 648 5060 121 4065 that those match the sort of numbers that we would be putting in when we were awakening the grubs, right, in their habitat. So, what I think this is, and this is why I didn't do a Secret Omega, I waited for you guys, uh, is I think we take these two numbers, we go to the environmental control, we set the two rooms, 648 and 121, to 5060 and 4065 respectively, and we see what happens. And that's probably Secret Omega. Okay? So I will see you guys back in environmental control, and we will go from there. All right, hey guys, so here we are, we're in environmental. I'm gonna use the PDT on the atmosphere control terminal. Now we've already awoken the grubs. That's just the state of the game that we have. So let's go in here and set 648 and 121 to 50, 60, and 40, 65. First one is 121. We set it down to 40. I'm just gonna assume that this is the order, right? 40 and then 65 up here. Nope, no response. Fine. Let's go to 648, which probably is the last one on the list. There it is. And we hit this at 40, no, at 50, right? And 60. There we go. Anything? No? Okay, let's try. Swap the numbers. While I'm finding one of the secrets in Chris, do you have any other final words for our, uh, Intrepid Adventurers. I would assume they have finished the game if they got this far because the secret's right at the end. They can carry on playing the secrets. Bye! Bye. Well done for finding one of the secrets in the cave. Chris, do you have any other final words for our uh, <laughs> Intrepid Adventurers? So there you go. We had a little recording from uh, the guys behind the Brotherhood. And, uh, yeah. Bye! Bye. Okay, so, that's it. Those are the four secrets. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Omega. Pretty cool, pretty nice Easter eggs. Uh, I do like the fact that the last one is just a recorded message. Uh, it, it's a nice personal touch. Uh, and it's nice, you know, for people who played Stasis with the Marichek stuff. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. 
Uh, we are probably going to start in on something new because now this is this has wrapped up everything we do with Kane. Uh, and if you have thoughts on what I should be playing, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better